Hey everyone, Melanie Minshinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I have a really simple valentine that I'm going to be creating with my newest set from Gina K Designs, Stately Flowers 12. Today I'm going to be using the Mayflower because I haven't colored that yet, but this would work with any of these stamps in this set or in that series. So this is a very, very simple technique. We're just going to be stamping it in gray and then doing the black and then some very simple coloring. It produces a really graphic look, even if you're using really classical traditional images. These are all the products that we're using today. Very, very minimal card. It's the way I like to stamp most, where we're making our stamps be the embellishments. We've got the Gina K Moonlit Fog and the Memento Tuxedo Black. The cardstock that I'm using today, I've got some of the Gina K Red Velvet and the White. This is four inches by four and a quarter inches. I'm using some of the Connect Glue. I love this for doing embellishments, but also just keeping my card base so that it um, I can move it at the last minute. I've got one big block that's gonna fit all those flowers and my greetings. And then I'm just using one marker today, the Spectrum Noir DR2. All right, so let's begin by stamping out. And I think I'm gonna change the layout here. So you can see I also did one with the violet and this is portrait style. That could be portrait style as well, but I'm gonna turn it so that we can do a landscape design. And this is going to be the butterfly. I'm gonna be creating kind of a lace border there. So let's go ahead and make this one landscape style. So just wanna turn this and make sure I have it going the right way. And we're gonna begin by stamping this in gray. And for some of you, when you see I'm not doing any masking and I'm overlapping the images, that might feel a little uncomfortable for you, but it looks really pretty once you color over it. So I'm gonna just do one here in the corner. And then I'm gonna turn the stamp so it's facing the other way. And we're creating kind of a cascade of flowers here. Okay. And then, and if you want, you could go in and decorate the inside of the envelope. I think I'm gonna do that with the black though, since I've got a red base here. Then I'm gonna take the Tuxedo Black. Make sure that I've got the whole thing inked up. And then I'm just gonna press right here and it's gonna overlap those leaves and flowers. But then you're not really even gonna notice the overlapping once I do my coloring. Then what I want to do, let's go ahead and put it inside the card too. Take the design inside. So I'm going to put this just right here in the corner. Okay, so now we're coordinating. And then what I want to do is I want to create a little lacy border for the side there. So I'm going to have this offset just a little bit. If you want to center it, you can, but I'm going to have a smaller end there than on this side. And I'm going to take this bold butterfly stamp and I'm just going to stamp it along the edge with the wings facing out and that's going to look like a nice lacy scallop there. So I'm going to do it right about here and I'm going to start in the middle and I want to have just enough so that it's hanging out the edge and then you're going to go to either side. So when you finish, you have about the same amount of that butterfly on either end. I actually didn't get that inked up as well. Okay. So that's going to go just like that. If you want to have it on the other side, you could do that as well. And then you'll notice I didn't on this card, but then this is something that I showed during our release hops. I made this little border with the days of the week from my calendar. So that's kind of another fun border that you can do and it's gonna go along with that sentiment of I think of you every day. So I'm just gonna put this across the top. You can omit this part if you don't want it. And what I'm gonna do here is I just wanna line this up with my line on my block. So it's pretty easy to stamp since I have the line above and below the days. And just like we did with that butterfly, I wanna start creating the border in the middle, and then I'm gonna go off to either side, okay? 
and you can use a line on a grid line mat underneath to kind of help you keep that straight. Pardon my head if I get in the way. And if it's off a little bit, that's okay. I'm trying to stay out of the frame. And if you have a little bit of a skip and you want to fill that in, I always like to have a black pen handy just so that I can just fill in any gaps in my stamping. Okay, now let's go ahead and last we'll do that greeting. So I have all these different praying for you, I think of you, something to celebrate or thankful every day. So I want to do I think of you since it's going to be a Valentine. And Mayflowers are traditionally white to pink, but I I'm happy coloring flowers, any color that I feel like doing. And I really wanted to share this design because you can swap out the red for any seasonal color or your favorite color, and you're going to come up with a really nice, clean and simple design that'll work for any occasion throughout the year. So I've got I Think of You, and then I'm going to stagger the every day. So I've got I Think of You every Day. And then that just stair steps down around those flowers. Okay. All right, now let's do our coloring. And we're not doing any shading today, so that might feel a little uncomfortable for you as well. But I just love how when you find a marker that goes really nicely with these coordinating inks and cardstocks that Gina has, it just looks so bold and graphic. And then that gray stamping that you do, it just really makes the black outlined stamp that you're coloring look all the more dramatic. So all I'm doing is just going inside. I'm coloring the flower parts only, not the leaves. And this DR2 is just a little bit lighter than on my cardstock. And I just wanted it to glow a little bit rather than go dark or muddy. And if you want to have a closer match or you want to do a little bit of shading, then I'd recommend going in the DR3. So when I finish this up, I'll add just a teeny bit of that near the centers and then where these petals overlap so you can see. And it's just going to make them glow a little bit more. But it just takes so little to make a really nice looking homemade card. So I like doing simple designs like this just to encourage you and show you if you don't have a lot of time, you can still make a really, really sharp and dramatic looking card. The ones that take longer are fun too, but sometimes you just need to get it done. And I'm leaving these little centers open here. Okay. And I love how that gray is showing through, but if you don't like that, then you can just simply mask it by stamping it, cutting it out, and then covering them up. But I, I like the way that that looks. I just think it's a really cool print. So if you want just a little bit of shading, you can put just a little bit of this darker kind of blood red, which is gonna pull in that cardstock color even more. And I'm just putting it at the bottoms and near the centers. So it's subtle, but you can see it. Okay, and then just a little bit around there. All right, and then we're just gonna adhere this to our card and we're done. So I use the layering weight cardstock. As you can see, my coloring went through. If you end up deciding that you want to do a white card base, then you'll wanna use a Gina K heavy base weight cardstock and that way it won't show through to the inside. But I just love this glue because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room rather than sticking right down where you place it. You have just a minute to kind of push it around and get it exactly where you want it. And that's it, card complete. So let me show you. This was the portrait and here's the landscape. So let me know in the comments which of the flowers in this set that you like the best. Any ideas for other videos? Next week I'm going to be doing a Distress Oxide 
ink video using the lilacs. So this is just a, another one I did with Stately Flowers. So we're going to do that one next week. And I also got another video coming up in a couple days showing how to do the February calendar because it's almost February. If you were admiring my lovely sparkly uh, French manicure. This is courtesy of the Dollar Tree. Just wanted to share this tip. I found it the other day and the blue and silver glitter in these little adhesive tips was perfect for my son's blue and gray football banquet that we were going to. So you just press on the ends, you use your own clear polish and I've had it on for four days. One dollar. Really cool. Okay anyway that's my tip for today. That's my card project. Hope you'll come back for more Valentine ideas and come visit our hops this week at Gina K Designs. Please also visit me on my blog, Head, Hands, Head, and Heart, for more ideas and inspiration and at Stamp TV. Thank you so much for watching today. God bless.